What's up YouTube, we back with another video. Today we're gonna be talking about how to get prepared for boot camp, like how to get in shape. Cause I've been getting a lot of questions in the comments, get a lot of questions in my DMs on Instagram. If you're not following me, go ahead and follow me up here, over here. But we're gonna, we gonna get straight into it. Now one of the first things you need to start thinking about for boot camp is, I got it all written down right here if you wonder what I'm looking at. You need to make sure you start to hydrate. That's gonna be a big thing while you're in boot camp. You're gonna start to drink a lot of water. You're gonna get real familiar when them tell you to hydrate. It's gonna be a good and a bad thing. Get a little break but that means you're about to get yourself beat usually so always hydrate 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 drink a lot of water drink a lot of water Get into the exercises start practicing your push-ups because that's part of your prt and it's going to be something that you're uh, constantly getting beat with in boot camp so uh usually when we would get beat it would be like uh like reps of like 30 so we do like 30 straight but sometimes it would turn into well most times it would turn into more than 30 because they tell you to either start over or you know stuff like that so i think the maximum they can tell you to do in a row is like 30. of course they'd be like you did it wrong start over and you at 20 already so you go figure uh then we have air squats which is known as air chairs that's just gonna be something that you're gonna be getting beat with i'm just introducing you to most of the uh exercises that you can be getting beat with throughout boot camp so that way you you start to become accustomed to it before that so it's not like something you never did before so air chairs make sure you get there okay 10 counts now this right here man i still not used to 10 counts 10 counts that's probably one of the hardest exercises in boot camp man like they would do it as a punishment like i'm on time i got beat but i already see like just me and i remember he was like 50 10 counts like i was like dang that's so that's 500 individual movements all right, I figured I should clarify on 10, 10 counts a little more because you might not understand. All right, so, all right, you start like this. Then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so my roommate agreed to beat me. Like I already see what on the 10 count, so I can show y'all how it's really going to be in boot camp. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 seven, eight. What the? F <laughs> hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on. That's you make your mind. That's not how it's going to be. That, that is that's not how they did it. That's they did it like that, but you still did it in order. I start. Get, all right, all right. That's not. Uh, you got your flutter kicks. That's build your core. Uh, you want to make sure you go in boot camp with a strong core because a lot of exercises like the flutter kicks, the in and out, scissor kicks, stuff like that, that all intertwine with your core. And um, it's just good to have a strong core anyway. Make sure you start running. If you're not accustomed to running, make sure you start running at like two miles. So that way you're accustomed to running that mile and a half. Make sure you start timing yourself when you run so you can see your progression, you know, stuff like that. Don't just show up to boot camp without running and expect to run a nine and a half or 10 minute run. Don't don't expect that. So start trying to run now. You know, I say run longer than what actually you have to run in boot camp so that way you become accustomed to running. And it's not like a culture shock when you gotta run a mile and a half. Cause for me, I, I played sports growing up, but I never uh, I never was like a big runner. Like that just wasn't, wasn't my thing. And I know like a year, like I haven't played sports in like a year or two before I joined. So I, st I didn't start running. It's like the week before boot camp. Cause you don't do that much running in boot camp. Like you go to Freedom Hall and you know, you do your little runs, shuttle runs and stuff like that. But better to start start then before you get in. So it'll be a little easier. Right now, just if you're thinking about, you know, I got to get ready for boot camp. Don't stress it too much. It's not a physically demanding thing. It's like if you have the willpower up here, you're going to make it through boot camp for the most part. Make sure you uh, spend enough time with your family and friends, you know, because once you go to boot camp, you go, you automatically go straight to A school. And then after A school, that's when you get to be able to take leave. Because once you, once you start this process and once you join and you through boot camp, a lot of those friends that you call your friends now and stuff like that, they not gonna end up being your friends. You're not gonna end up talking to them as much. And once you get in boot camp, you're gonna, you're gonna learn like little tips and tricks. I don't really wanna say too much. A lot of people, I'm not, hypothetically i'm saying you know hypothetically when the rec walk that way you on push-up position some people stay down hypothetically i'm not saying that need to be you i'm just saying hypothetically that's what some people do as long as you as long as you're strong up here again as long as you're strong up here you'd be straight in boot camp i would work out probably three maybe four times a week wouldn't do too much wouldn't want to hurt myself put too much strain on my body before i go in but the first week of boot camp you don't got to worry about none of this exercise stuff because you're not gonna be clear fit for full because you're gonna be in p days all right and i know this 
this was a quick video. I'm gonna be dropping some more videos soon. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I have my email in the description box. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you like the video. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace. That little mouse, cause I'm an albatross.